Welcome to my channel, Steve of the Window Cleaner. Today, we are gonna talk about commercial pricing. Yes, I'm in my car. I try to film videos like I did the last one where it was like really nice background in my office, but there's just no time. So, I spend a good amount of time driving, so back to the car. Might just keep to the car is what it is. So, commercial and storefront pricing. Last video about pricing, talked a lot about residential pricing. The main reason that I'm kind of remaking this video or updating it. It's not gonna be as thorough as my old videos that I made in 2021, where I showed a lot of pictures of residential, different storefronts, different commercial buildings, and kind of what I would do, because I feel like some of it is pretty simple as far as commercial and storefront goes. Let's start with storefronts. Storefronts, what I do now is I price the average window pane, let's say anywhere from like three feet to four foot, uh, something around there, an average door at about $2 per side. Now the trick with this is that you're cleaning this on a regular schedule. So that's for cleaning it like every single you know month or every two months. If you're not doing that, then I would just revert to my residential video and basically charge it like a residential because it's a one-time thing. Um, and then if that window is a super large window, let's say five feet by eight feet, five feet by 10 feet, I would charge at least $3 per side or maybe even $4 per side. But <coughs> when you start getting up there in prices too high with storefronts, it is a quite competitive market. You're dealing with a lot of franchise companies who can do it for less. So that's one thing to think about um, when doing that. There's a lot of, I, I put restaurants, I put everything in there except for mid-rise buildings into pretty much storefronts because restaurants you can do on a regular service, um, you know, dentist offices, doctor offices, like different stuff like that. So what I find is a good charge is right about that $2 per side. And I find you can get a lot of work that way. Now, you might be watching this video and you're saying, oh man, I get like, I get $7 a window. That's great, you get $7 a window. You're a heck of a salesman, good job. I have just found from the market and what I've seen that there's, of course, your bucket bobs that are gonna do it for a dollar altogether, so 50 cents for each side of a window pane. I'm not gonna do that, but I find that once you're efficient and pretty speedy, that $2 per side works out really, really nice. Um, some other things that can happen with you know, storefronts or commercial stuff, I'm gonna say like, we'll talk about mid-rise commercial, but like commercial one-story stuff, is like garage doors. If you're doing garage doors at like, uh, you do an automobile place, typically I charge like a dollar to a dollar fifty a side um, for those kind of windows because I find it's pretty quick, it's pretty easy, you're pretty much gonna pull everything. And all of my prices is doing everything with a pull. So like I don't take out like my three foot or four foot step ladder or my stack ladder or my extension ladder for pretty much any storefront. I pull everything. That's why you can keep the price low. That's it. Let's say you're doing a liquor store and I, I do a couple liquor stores and you're cleaning the cooler doors, right? You're not gonna do them as regular. I do mine like every eight weeks on the places that I do. Same exact prices, two bucks a side. Now, like I said earlier, this market is very skewed, so you can find that you could have a restaurant that has 65 windows say to you, oh, we're getting it clean for 65 bucks inside and out. That's just not even worth it to compete with. So for that, I would leave them my card and let them know, hey, if that window cleaner doesn't start, you know, starts not showing up, and give me a call. But that's really it as far as storefront pricing. I keep it really simple. I like simple, basic pricing. Commercial, uh, let's talk more like mid-rise commercial, one to three stories, uh, one to four stories. So I think of it a couple different ways, all right? So one, if the building's really dirty, you're doing outside only, I would pretty much start at ground floor four bucks and either go up by $2 every story or go up by a buck every story. I don't do it as in like, oh, I'm gonna do $5 for each window no matter what story it is, no matter what floor it is. Um, I find, you know, if you can reach that third story at the water fed pole, you should charge him for reaching that third story at the water fed pole. Now, here's the kicker. Once again, commercial mid-rise 
is the most skewed market as far as window cleaning. I can always remember this one building I bid in and it was about 5,000 windows. I, I forget, I think my bid was like fifteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000, something like that. This was like quite a few years ago. And a person came in and bidded it at $1,500. This job required a lift. This job required a lot of different stuff. Can't compete with that. And that's what happens uh, in that market is that not all the time is it going to make sense. And a lot of the time with Midrise Commercial, they are literally looking for a company just to make it look better. So if you're going into it thinking, ooh, I'm really gonna impress these people and I'm gonna clean this thing like they've never seen before, I'm gonna polish it real, real nice, I would leave that mindset for this kind of stuff. They're literally looking for good maintenance. So typically mid-rise commercial buildings, you're either gonna clean quarterly, bi-yearly, yearly, or every two years. Or you have your ones where they just get cleaned like randomly every five to 10 years. If they're doing that, <coughs> I would almost charge at much of the home. Now for inside windows, if it's all easy to get to, I'd pretty much charge like about $3 per a pane uh, for the inside of it. If you have a bunch of vaulted glass inside of a large entryway, I would pretty much start at $3 for the ground floor and just price it by buck every story up or by $2 every story up. So three, five, seven, nine. Um, and then also if you're using any kind of lifts, scissor lifts, always 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 be charging the customer for that you should never have to pay for that um, if you're doing construction clean you have tons of supplies you got to get I don't think there's any issue in adding that as well construction clean on all of this kind of stuff I just do either do it um, if it's mild construction I times it by two if it is really, really heavy construction debris I times it by three if you've talked to me before about construction cleans I always say this Every time I used to time it by three, it really didn't work out that well. Uh, so I would suggest that if you're gonna do that, be really good, be a really, really good salesman to try to sell that. Or, um, I was talking to somebody about this the other day, you could just move to an hourly rate for commercial cleans. Um, not that you'll always know exactly how long it's gonna take you. You may not be able to tell that customer exactly what it would be, but that's another good way to do construction clean. So maybe at least 125 to like 150 an hour for your time. And just to make sure that, you know, you're getting what you should make from that job. Trying to think of any other kickers for like mid-rise commercial. Mid-rise commercial, I've always found either water-fed pole or pole work traditionally works pretty well. Uh, once again, it's really just about getting that place clean, not perfection. If they want hard water removed, typically on commercial buildings, hard water is the worst because they have a lot of plants and different stuff right by the windows and the irrigation system just sprays water on it and so they just get horrible hard water stains. So if the customer wants that removed, go into that. But I have done commercial buildings where literally every single window has hard water on it to the point where you're like, what's the point? They literally just want it to be shined up that's it. If you disagree with me, you disagree with me on that. But I think plenty of people who have done this for a long time in that part of the industry will agree that yes, that is the general consensus is that they overall want it to look better. Um, so I wouldn't stress about it too much. That's really it. I keep storefront and commercial, mid-rise commercial stuff very, very simple. Comment below with any questions. Um, if you want a really thorough video about all that stuff, I did a storefront bid guide. I also, years ago, I did this kind of video where I went around a commercial building and just kind of gave my ideas on what to price. If you see things that are really hard to get to, once again, just like residential, there's no problem adding on a little bit extra cost if you think it's gonna take you a bit to get to that window and it's gonna take a lot of extra effort, right? So, also, one more thing with um, any you know, storefront businesses, commercial, is that make sure that you are insured. Make sure that you have general liability insurance. So you should be making sure for the same thing for residential, but a lot of these companies are gonna ask you for your COI, which is your certificate of insurance. Um, so make sure you have those things done uh, before ever going out and ever trying to do, you know, buildings like that because they are gonna ask you for that information.
If you have any more questions or you have your own thoughts on commercial bidding or storefront bidding, please comment below. I'd be happy to hear your opinion on it and everyone else would as well. Once again, I'm a sales rep with Dental Clean Resource. If you guys need anything, feel free to text me at 970-599-1437 or you can email me at stevo at windowcleanresource.com. Peace.